Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Well, we are here at day two of the National Western Stock Show here in Denver, Colorado. We're in our booth. We are in the Stadium Hall Level 2, the 1400 alley at the very back corner. We've got some awesome trailers to show you. We'll kind of walk you through this morning and get you a little bit more in depth on these trailers, kind of show you some of the cool things we have on display too as well. Um, but let's take a look at some of these awesome Cimarron trailers we have here. Very first one we have when you come into the booth is a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pole. We wanted this one to be silver metallic to show you one of the newer colors on this one. We put a folding rear tack on it with a uh, movable saddle post. So this saddle post can go from this back tack up to the front tack there. It's really great because we can walk you through and show you the craftsmanship on these Cimarron's, the different options. We got multiple just different colors of the sheeting on these trailers just to show you those different wheel combinations, different tack options, different saddle racks. That's the big reason why we picked this trailer in particular. If you're in the market for a living quarters, you want to go through the new build process. Uh, we are an Outlaw Conversions dealer. So if you notice, we've got a, a table back there with some nice giveaways that Outlaws sent us, but we've got some different samples that we can show you. Obviously, we have a trailer here on display that we can walk you through and, and show you some different options. But we can walk through and look at some different samples, different colors, different wood stains, those type of items like that. Now, one of the really nice trailers that we have sitting here is this 2023 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Living Quarters. We're gonna walk through this trailer. It is an outlaw conversion, absolutely beautiful trailer. This one's charcoal metallic, and then we capped it off with the polished extrusion on this trailer. You'll, you'll notice a couple themes as you walk through these four trailers we have sitting here. Of the, of the four, three of them have air ride, and three of them have polished extrusion, and we'll walk you through a few more of those. We're also gonna have some staff here to visit with you. Right here is Tanner Jackson, he's with TransWest. We've got Cody Bryan here for, I think, today, and then he's headed back to Oklahoma with Cimarron. We'll have more of those Cimarron reps and some outlaw reps coming in uh, late next week. We also have Burt Derryberry here, the world famous. He's a man of few words this time of, the, this time of the day, but he is here, you can stop by and see him. Let's check out this this really nice, well-equipped outlaw conversion that we have here. Again, this is a four horse. This is a 14.9 short wall with a slide out. Uh, this has become probably our most popular setup right now as far as an LQ. We're not getting a real big size of this. I mean, as far as a 14.9, uh, but the big benefit is, as you can see, when you get in here, we have a slide out with the dinette. We like putting it in dinette and a slide because then it's a four person uh, dinette. If you put it on the drop wall, it's more of a two person, but this collapses down into a bed. Then we've got our sofa sleeper that breaks down as well. So this is a dual seating, dual sleeping down here. And again, it's not like we're in an 18 foot short wall. This is a 14 nine. So we can get this, this size. Uh, it's, it, it feels still open. It feels big, but we're not getting that huge footprint in that, you know, 38, 40 foot long type of a trailer. You know, we've gone in and done quite a few upgrades to this. This is Wi-Fi capable. We've gone in and added smart TVs. A lot of streaming is, is really popular. I know it is at my house right now. Disney Plus is probably number one on the list right now. Uh, but you've got the ability to have that. Uh, the Wi-Fi capable, a lot of people are working as they travel. We're offering Starlink on these trailers now. We can install those. We're doing that on our motorhomes up at our shop as well. But as you can see, just really well equipped, beautiful color, just the, the difference and uh, the darker wood, the lighter walls, just a good contrast right there. We're really happy the way this trailer turned out. Good size bathroom. That's, that's what we really like about this as well. You're not having to stand over that toilet. Uh, to stand in front of the bathroom vanity. We've upgraded the sink, upgraded the toilet seat, porcelain toilet, nice radius shower, big closet. So again, really well equipped. You can really maneuver within that bathroom. And again, this 14.9 has been probably our most popular seller over the last 24 months. Uh, again, because we're not getting an overly big trailer, but it still feels a good size and has a little nice, 
nice options there. Then as we come through the pass-through door, we step into this four horse. This is a PC load, cowboy load, rear side load. Everybody's got kind of a different name or version to it, uh, but here's a really good setup. I mean, we've gone in and we did worm flooring on this trailer. So you have that permanent unpenetrable rubber mat. You don't have to wrestle those and take them out this side. We have mangers at all four. We've got the manger on the escape door at stall number one with the stud divider as well. We have airflow dividers, airflow head grills. When you combine that with the big drop windows on the head wall, big drop windows on the hip wall, and then the insulated roof that comes on these, on every single Cimarron, you know, just a lot of airflow trying to keep these horses as comfortable as possible as we're traveling. The back divider's a break over, so we can really open up this back opening here, allowing horses a little bit more access getting on and off this trailer to make that corner. And then we have the side ramp coming out of it. This is an air ride suspension trailer, spread axle. Uh, again, three of the four trailers we have sitting here are actual air ride trailers. But the spread axles become really popular over the last couple of years as well. We put Alcoa rims on this, 18 ply tires, so really good running gear underneath this trailer. Those are two 9,000 pound axles. We're going to show you the air ride display that we have here as well. So you can really see how that system works and we can talk a lot about those benefits that you get with the air ride suspension itself. And then when you cap off this back tack on this trailer, that's what really tops it off. I mean, you have this full width rear tack on this. Multiple options we can do on this. This one here, we opted for a single door. You have the swing out saddle rack in here. We put a 48 gallon half moon water tank behind that. That's kind of wasted space back there, but you can carry some water on board there. And then we have this easy angle ladder. We really like upgrading to this. It makes that transition going up there to your hay pod and your generator, just accessing that part of the trailer so easy. You can literally carry a bucket or a feed bag in your hand and go up this, this easy angle ladder uh, rather than that bolt on where you go straight up the side. So uh, again, we've got a, a hay pod ahead of that. That generator up there, that's an Onan 4K. That'll house 10 to 12 bales of hay up there. And then behind me is a, a stock box. So we've got a lot of stock boxes coming in on order right now, but we have some up at the lot. This one on display here at the show. This one's a 72 inch. We like these fold up aluminum slats on the side. And then one of the new uh, options, features that they have is the center gate. So on this one here, this one has the center gate that splits it 50-50. But what they've done is they've taken the concept from their the uh, pin system where we can convert them from 50 50 to 60 40 very easily and they've done that in this so all i have to do is unpin it flip it over and then i can pin it against the wall so you know very easy to use very easy to open up and make one big stall if you want to but again that's where that concept came from so you know cimarron's very innovative we try to give them feedback we get a lot of feedback from customers as well we come up with a lot of these new options Behind me here at this desk is Michaela Geis. She's also a salesperson at TransWest. We've got some TVs here running some of our videos continuously. We're showing different locations of, of what TransWest as a true umbrella company has to offer you as well. We've got cutouts of, of the actual construction of the trailers that we can show you and we can show you how these are put together and why a Cimarron is the best trailer on today's market. This is a really cool display. We end up spending a lot of time back here. And if you're around, definitely come check this out. So this is an air, a cutout of our air ride display itself. So it's that system we just looked at over there on that, on that living quarters. What we have is the Dexter rubber torsion axle. We've got a shock kit that goes along with it. Self-contained compressor. We show you how this functions. If we have issues with the air ride, we set it down on that rubber torsion axle and you can still get down the road. But this is a great, just general idea and, and vision of what we're looking at underneath the trailer, you know, as we can't really see that on these finished trailers here, but this gives you a good idea on what we're looking at there and what 
that air ride system does for your horses, your livestock, and just in general, you pulling it down the road. This is a trailer that's really evolved over the last couple years. So we have a 2023 Cimarron 2 plus 1. This is an awesome setup. This trailer has really evolved. You know, 10 years ago, we'd carry one of these standard 2 plus 1s, four foot front tack, manual crank jack, and then just your general 2 plus 1 setup. This has evolved so much. We've gone to bigger tack rooms. This is a five footer. We did a pass through door. Hydro, electric over hydraulic jack on it. We did worm flooring on this trailer. We've gone in and put stall fans in here. There's that pass-through door that looks right into that front tack room there. This is a 710 tall trailer, so we did a V-nose, so you can see the taper of that nose in there, but the way that Cimarron does their radius, there's still a lot of space up there in that gooseneck area for you. You've got a boot box, you've got saddle racks, blanket poles, another 48 gallon water tank there. We'll show you when you get to the outside, but we went ahead and put a camera system on here. So we can parts and uh, uh, service through those departments we have can go in and install these. Even if you have a current trailer that you want to upgrade and go ahead and put a camera system on it, we can go ahead and, and help you get scheduled with that. But this is on display here, so you can see this camera. We'll show you the monitor when we get to the outside here. But then as you get in, here's your, box, your front box stall. You've got your stud gates there open. If you notice, Cimarron does a great job. We add a little bit more length in this box stall, so you can actually get out the side ramp. These doors aren't hanging out in those openings that you're having to work around. And so it's nice to load on and load right off this trailer. And then this is something that we've gone in and done quite a bit of as well. So we have about five to six of these trailers on hand or on order at all times. And majority of them are air ride suspension. And then they have this gate that actually slides over to the wall. We'll show you, it's the same concept that we have on our uh, Cimarron steer vault that we'll show you back here. But if you wanted to make this two box stalls, you unpin this and slide it over against the wall and then you pin it over there. And then as we come out of this stall area, we have our rear ramp with Dutch doors up above. On this one here in the middle at the back there, you'll notice another camera. So we have a backup camera and a stall camera. We've gone in and put an air spoiler on this one. That's become a popular option as well. Uh, if you notice at the back of vehicles, if you live down dirt roads, that dirt will accumulate at the back of your tailgate, back of your bumper. Uh, that happens at the back of trailers, especially when we get in the winter months. It'll just swirl back here and those spoilers get that, that air away and, and get that just grime off the road away from the back of your trailer. So again, there's a lot of these items that we can go in and add after the fact, even if we have a finished trailer. And then here's a good look. There's that monitor that we were talking about showing you our stall area. And then there's our backup camera. This is a wireless system, which is fantastic. It plugs in to your cigarette lighter, and then you have to have your running lights on to power your cameras. But then you can take this system from one truck to the other. So if you have multiple tow vehicles, you look at upgrading vehicles, you know, it's not hardwired in. It's very easy to move it from one to the other. <clears throat> the last trailer that we have in the booth here is this Cimarron steer vault. This is a 2023 30 foot air ride. Again, we talked about it. These all, three of these four have the air ride and they're all polished. So enclosed front end on this one. There's a good look at that self-contained air compressor over there on the other side. Alcoa wheels on this trailer as well. This trailer here, we opted to go fully polished. So we did the stainless sheeting on this one. This is one giant mirror. This is an absolutely beautiful trailer. We have a six foot front tack room. We did the side ramp going into it. So, you know, very easy to bring your upright boxes and blower carts, fan carts up into that front tack room. We've got ways to secure items in there with the airliner track. Up in the nose, you actually have some brackets up there to store four 24-inch fans motored down up there. 
You'll notice that gray rubber matting as well. That's something we're doing on a lot of these trailers, our show trailers, but we're also incorporating it quite a bit on our horse trailers. You know, it's not like rubber mats that you can still have to pull up and can get dirt underneath it. Carpet will get stained and kind of hold some odor over years. That's a really easy cleanup there. Same concept that we looked at on our stock box. Lower fold down air slats on this one so we can get a lot of airflow in there. We shifted this ramp back on this trailer. Uh, again, customer feedback. We wanted that ramp away from the front so we can get a little bit more airflow in that front stall area. If that ramp's forward, we have a lot of, of, of space where we can't get as much air to, so we wanted to move that ramp back. This one here, we upgraded to worm flooring as well. We went ahead and put two traveling gates on this. Both of them are 48 inch swings, no threshold. We went ahead and did a vertical jail bar airflow style rather than the stock sides so you have those those vents this one here will be able to get a lot more airflow so this is where the concept for that moving gate and that two plus one came from we just turned it the other way so it goes against the wall but very easy to move gives you a lot of flexibility from the standpoint of creating multiple stall areas maybe you're dragging some a cow calf pair, a bull, some heifers. You know, you, you can manipulate these stall sizes all you want with having two traveling gates. That is a big advantage by having that. And on this one here, spread axle, air ride. Again, the Alcoas, 18 ply tires. Once you have an air ride trailer, you're never gonna go back. We've talked to a lot of customers here at the show. We'll continue to have them come into the booth. And one of the most common things we hear is I'll never own another trailer without air ride. Uh, so again, we can show you that display while, while we're here at the show. We can show you these trailers. They're absolutely beautiful. They function. They'll be able to allow you to go to the show and whatever you're showing, go and compete at the highest level and really enjoy the actual experience when you're pulling one of these Cimarron's. So definitely come by and see us. Again, we're here at the National Western Stock Show till December 22nd. That is a Sunday. That's the last day of the show. Again, Stadium Hall, level two, aisle 1400 at the very back corner. It's hard to miss us. We've got these trailers lit up. We put a lot of lights on them. They are absolutely beautiful. So definitely come by and see us. If you want to stop by the store as well, we will have some of our salespeople up there throughout the show. And then we'll be down here at the show. You can give us a call if you'd like. That number is 303-684-3400. Or you can go to our website, www.transwest.com. So stop by and see us. Thanks for